ways to the girl arrived at our village, but something is terribly wrong. A terrible man had arrived while the girl was away. He was searching for something. He was sad by nothing until he found her. The village was totally devastated. And all the people ran. It is said that with each gust of wind, the powdery snow blew in every direction about Cleveland. Nice luck. Uh, I don't think we have any new insights, do we? So we'll continue. Everything in sight was destroyed. Our people were gone. How could this be? Wow, oh, could it be just a blizzard? <laughs> Mr. Bonnie Debris Giant Loon Spliss appeared Full of sorrow for the girl's loss But those are the only ones who actually see laughs <laughs> That was not the thing to do, apparently. <laughs> ah, shoot. Shoot, I wanted to do a wall jump off the... Again. Come here, granddaughter. Said the young man. And we have a cutscene. How does he know me? Thought the girl. Because I've been watching over you. If I only had my drum, I can help you find the one who you need. Who did this to your village? Okay. Hey, we'll walk along though. Good day to you, buddy. Watch the heartbeat of the community. We will do that. Drum is something that's common to all cultures in Alaska. All cultures have a drum that may have some stylistic differences or differences in the materials that it's made, but it's still a recognition of life and vitality. And the drum mirrors the heartbeat. And when you continue drumming soon, it will be in line with your heartbeat. 
because that's what it's supposed to be, the heartbeat of the community, and it symbolizes vitality. And it's, it's the most tremendous feeling to be in a room and to have one long row of all the drummers and to have that feeling of unity and everyone beating in harmony, the drum beat in unison, it's the most beautiful feeling. And to know that you're connected, you're on the land that you are connected to. And even if you grew up outside of the community, that which is in you comes from this area. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. Man, I went at it and look what happens. <laughs> We are third of the way through the game, according to the... I like, I like the fox battle. Uh oh. What the heck did he... Oh. Someone was interrupted by the gong. I came out to see who was making all the noise. Watch out. Ah, 
I ain't the answer either. Actually, you can lie and I'll just that. Uh, yeah, you can't get back up, so you can sit up dead. He was so happy. I'm so proud of the girl. And this, he had something for her. And it was... What the heck is that? I've kept a safe for you. Dude, can we play jokes with you? I guess not. <laughs> we are gonna watch a movie, Bola. The Bola is what we call Kilami Town. And the Kilami Town is made out of braided sinew tied out to some heavy bone which you could twirl. In my case, we're catching ducks. When we're out uh, whaling, sometimes the ducks start flying. And they're good for duck hunting. You know, uh, if you're a whaling crew, you can't make too much noise. So you can't use a shotgun for um, getting some duck soup handy, you know? So bolo was a really handy weapon to use for catching ducks. You know, the ducks fly in, you throw it up and tangles up the bird, and down they go.
am I to do here? Must be messed stuff. Let's check out the. Uh, inside move menu in or at switch brace jump bola. Well, I got the fuck to do. <laughs> I'm flying! I'm flying! I have no idea what, you, what you're supposed to do here. So free. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this puzzle. I'm gonna have to go so a To continue on our journey.
I gotta get the puzzle now. Whoops, I don't want that. Cussing. At the edge of our village, a pal stumbled upon the terrible man. He commanded her to stop. But she was stronger than he thought. And that goes the bola. Oh, he moves a lot, let me tell you. I guess he got all that. And now he's getting pissed. Come on. God, God, I got it, but then it fell. Jesus, this ball of control sucks. That's all the way back in the chase sequence.
that was close. Come on, Chase Secrets, and I want to the staff at the beginning now. There we go, cutscene ends. Uh-oh. Ice ball. Following that, it stopped briefly and then became windy all over again. It was difficult to see anything in the blizzard. Bola, export, Luda, a fox, a faded, a stranger achievement. A lot. For two days, they were adrift. Yo, Fox, Luda. We're going to watch Stranded correctly, maybe. The scaredest I've ever been. I was 12 years old. We floated out on a piece of ice uh, while we were duck hunting. It was a bluebird day, just clear blue skies. And there was three of us, myself, my brother, and my dad. Next thing you know, we see this dark, dark shadow on the ice. Uh, we look and it goes behind us. So we, we all jumped up startled and uh, my dad, he started running. We got back to the ridge there. The, uh, the ice had fractured, cracked, and broke off and we were floating away. We were, we were drifting. <laughs> It was close enough to where my dad would have made it. He stopped and he thought about throwing us across and if one of us was on the other side, we would be split up. So he stopped and he just so happened to have a, a cell phone on him. 911 didn't pick up. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world right there. 911 did not pick up. So he left a, a message because they record their calls. Once he had relayed that information, his cell phone died. That was the scariest moment I've ever had in my life. We were floating away and I thought we were left for dead. Uh, he kept calm during this situation. Uh, he's bringing out everything positive in this case. You know, I'm crying, my brother's freaking out. It went from clear blue to dense, dense fog. Within a couple hours, we heard the chopper flying around, so they must have gotten our message. We thought we were saved, and then the chopper sound went away. So we lit some of the sled on fire. It's plastic. We thought black smoke in the fog would create some kind of marker. Chopper pilot uh, had mentioned uh, when we got rescued, you could see a glow in the fog and he slowed down there and sure enough as soon as he slowed down uh, we got within visual that was definitely the scariest moment of my life was floating away and not knowing what the outcome was going to be huh. I got my ball. Until finally we see thick ice. But there's no cause for celebration. As we had that. The ice was unpredictable. Welcome to platforming 101. Get back up your fox. Dude. The fox just sits. I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, 
checkpoint. And uh oh, he's back. Trace your fishes though. I'll say that. That's the reaction to take. at that point. So he eventually, so eventually he does fall apart, but what do you do? That's my question. Yeah. 
huh? What happened? Oh, the fish come up. We walk. I have no clue at this point, what do we do? Okay, I guess I get both captains up to the edge. Do you outsmart a portal bell? There's no time to relax. A hungry bell will not give up easily. Watch, no more thick ice. Watch this and then we're going to call it a video. We're very much aware of the climate change. And it's been for many years, even before climatologists were noticing the change, in it we're already saying, Sila Alangoktok, our climate is changing. If the heat is going the way it is right now, for us it's going to be pretty bad. Different birds are coming, and they're coming earlier. And sometimes rain is more than what we want because when there's more rain, we know it's going to melt the permafrost. In my time as a young quail, when I was nine years old, we're hunting from ice that was about 25 feet thick. And there was giant icebergs already floating, coming by. That was the first signs of a changing climate ice that never broke before was now moving. Now, here it is 50 years later, we're hunting whale from ice that's 18 inches thick. There's no more thick ice. It's creating a it's malfunction in our whaling season, is, is what it is. And actually, more than that, all seasons in general. Yeah. I think we are more scientists than more people will realize. We have more knowledge of those things than people will ever know. That's 11 out of 24 that are unlocked. Um, so we're almost halfway through the game. So we will um, resume this next time. Thanks for watching.